I hope that Mian Chao can outspeed a Darkrai. They're not Scarf. They are very fast, though. They just tried to Dream Eater my Awake Mian Chao. Okay. Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to the VGC Boston Regulation G <laughs> video. Bringing you Kieran Black. We have Kieran Black here, everybody. Woo! Welcome, Kieran Black. Guess what? You can have Loaded Dice now. New item to be used on new moves. We have Scale Shot with Loaded Dice to give us at least four of those Scale Shots. Which then also gives us a speed boost to our Kieran Black, but does unfortunately lower our defenses. But hey, sometimes you gotta give, sometimes you gotta take. And we also have Icicle Spear on this Kieran Black, which gives us four to five Icicle Spears, which hurts a lot. That's essentially a base 100 ice type physical move. 100% of, uh, uh, of the time. Sometimes it's a base 120 physical ice move. I take that. That sounds very painful. And Kieran Black, if you guys didn't know, hurts on the physical side. Now the whole thought process of this team is gonna be having five physical Pokemon that all benefit from a Gouging Fire. Gouging Fire is gonna sit there, howl it up, give us a plus one where we need it on our allies and all on also the Gouging Fire. And then hopefully with one or two scale shots, Kieran Black will be fast enough to outspeed the opposing side of the field. I have high hopes for Kieran Black. I think Kieran Black is in a lot better situation than it was previously. Given the new tools and the new items and the lack of Dynamax and Sations running around that exists. So maybe Kieran Black will impress us today. Who knows? The rest of the team is super straightforward. We have the Mancha here with the Inner Focus and the Eject Pack. Rockin', a Fake Out, Close Combat, Knock Off, and Wide Guard. Wide Guard is everyone's favorite new move. Um, it's not new, but it is everyone's favorite move. <laughs> because of how prevalent spread moves are in restricted metagames. You have Kyogres, you have Groudons, you have... Calyrexes. Yeah, things have spread moves. You're gonna want a wide guard somewhere on your team. Rillaboom's here also as a secondary fake out user. We have the Ogre Pond as the redirector and also takes advantage of how very well. Last but not least, we have a Golden Goal to deal with those stinky, stinky fairy types. And uh, that's the team. This team is from Doomnik on Discord. Thank you so much, Doomnik, for going ahead and posting the team on the Pokesports Discord. Remember, if y'all wanna go ahead and post your regulation G teams, join the Discord. Pokesports.info in your address bar has every link that exists with the name Pokesports in it. Anyway, if y'all excited to see what the heck Kieran Black's about to do on the channel, hit the like button down below, subscribe to Pokey Sports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on to this video. Up against Galtice, okay. Holy Protosynthesis, one, two, three Protosynthesis Mons, a Groudon and a Chlorophyll Mon, plus Grimmy. It's not gonna be an easy game. That much I know. But it's not going to be an impossible one either. I like me. A Gouging Fire plus a Kira Blade. I know that's bringing a lot of Dragon types right away, but I think it's going to be worth them in the end. Speaking of the end, let me bring Golden Go here. Do I need Spread Move Protecting? Probably. Probably, but I also want Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond deals with the Groudon pretty well. I can just hit it with a with a Horn Leech or an Ivy Cudgel. You know. Now, the one thing that could go very bad. Maybe a Fairy Tear out of one of their dragons. Presumably the uh Presumably the Raging Bolt would be the extra bad one. Alright, shoes. Nice shoes. Grad on Rage Ball, gonna be their lead here. Neat. Not the end of the world. I think I'm gonna keep it simple. This turn. I could focus down and target the Grad on. Actually, I think I will. Ice School Spear. And Howl. Let's do it. Let's go for the Ice School Spear, go for the Howl. Get some attack boosts on my dude. They have protect. Okay, I'm sad. We still got the Howl up for free for what it's worth. They didn't terrestrialize either. Interesting. All right, good call on that. Oh, they e-web us. Okay.
do I switch here now? The golden go in the back. It's not really the brightest thing to do. I don't think so. I think I'm going to Ice Cold Spear again. I think I'm going to Howl again. Yeah. I'm going to hit Fairy Terror just in case they click Precipice Blades. I might need to switch into an Ogre Pond sometime soon. Maybe even the next turn. Because I think a plus two is all I really need to really snowball the game. Oh, they're going to Terrasalize too. Okay. The Raging Bolt. Okay, so they're going to Fairy Terror Raging Bolt, right? All right. We each have a Fairy Terror this turn, pal! Oh, and we're still faster. I could have attacked here. It's fine. Worry about that Fairy Terror later. They do go for the Precipice Blades. This will hurt, but it will not knock out. The E-Web again, okay. I should be able to live another E-Web with Curum. Not with this Gouging Fire though. Gouging Fire is hanging on hardly. They could bring in Flutter now, right? Dude, this Raging Bolt is so annoying. I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of this. Maybe Golden Go is my answer. But I would need to have redirection on the field. Oh, they go Walking Wake, okay. I think I'm just gonna protect, keep it simple. And go for a breaking swipe. Pretty much I'm just giving them my 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 gouging fire right now. If they miss E-Web, that's best case scenario for me, because I don't think I would speed the Raging Bolt anymore at negative two. Oh, they flamethrowered me. Oh, interesting. Oh, I outspeed still! Plus two breaking swipe, baby! Get out of here, on 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 Jugulula. Okay, it lives at one though. E-Web miss? That'd be nice. Let me keep this for one more turn. Nah. Oh well. Not the biggest deal. Especially since their son is on a timer, technically. I'm just gonna Ogre Pond. I get redirection if I bring Ogre Pond on the field. I think I'm going for this Electro Furia with an Icicle Spear. Plus two Icicle Spear. Let's redirect this. Woo! I am gonna need a deal with that Walking Wake eventually. I just don't know when. Draco Meteor, that's gonna hurt. But we're gonna live. That's all I need to do is live here. They're also negative two, which is great for my, my Golden Go in the back. If I knock out this Raging Bolt right here, I think Golden Go can take it. It might hurt a lot, but it's negative two. And they're gonna be locked onto negative two now. It's enough. I need five. No, I don't. It's enough! Bye, Electro Furia. Have a nice life. Peace out. Woo! If their last is Flutter. That might be a problem. But I'm hoping it's not. We'll see if it is. Because if it is Flutter, my Golden Goat better have its big boy pants on. That's for sure. Dang it, it's Flutter. Oh, no! I need the sun to go, to go away, that's for sure. Okay, last turn to sun. I have no reason not to double protect. So let's just do that. My Golden Goat. I, I hope you have EVs in this Golden Goat, Doomnik. I really hope you do. I need some EVs here, Doomnik. Okay, 252 HP with 20 special defense is what I'm working with. Oh, you got HP. That's good. You got no Terras left to use, though. All right, double protect just to watch the sun go away. Oh, they lock on a Dazzling Gleam. Hold on, are they throwing? Dazzling Gleam plus Flamethrower is not going to knock out my Golden Go, I don't think. 
Especially not in the sun. I think they have to go for my golden go. All right, well. Moment of truth, baby. Oh, dang it. They're booster energy anyway. They were going to be the fastest thing on the field regardless, so it doesn't actually matter in hindsight. All right, going to keep it simple. Icicle Spear Flutter. Make it rain. Wish me luck. I just need to live one Shadow Ball. And I hope they go for Dazzling Gleam again. Oh, dude. I think if I I think if I think just attacked last turn, I would have won. Or maybe they don't have Shadow Ball. Because, like, why else would you go Dazzling Gleam? Unless they're... Th they, did they forget they went negative two? Okay, no. They, they do have Shadow Ball. Does this knock me out? We hang on! Oh, they they chose the wrong target! Unless they have Sash. If they have Sash, I'll be so sad, man. This is single targeted now. It's a single targeted make it rain. Oh, they have booster energy! We won! <laughs> That's right, they don't have Sash! Woo! Galtice, that, that was a difficult battle. But GG's, it was a fun one. On to the next. Not even close to a regulation G team. But I'm down to try a, a battle against Darkrai. I think that'll be a fun time. How often do we see Darkrai nowadays? Not very, is the answer to that question. And listen, the official rank ladder still hasn't come out yet, so I can get away with doing this, right? Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing here? I think I'm going to cure him in the lead. Followed by... Gouging fire. We're going to howl right away. Gouging fire immediately. Um, can I wide guard Dark Void? Yeah, right? Maybe, hold on. Maybe we go uh, Miancha on the back. We'll bring Gouging Fire. We're, we're going to go Miancha on the front. We'll, we'll bring Gouging Fire in the back. That sounds A-OK -okay for me. And then last but not least, we're going to need a way to get through that Dock Spun. I, I'm calling out the power of Golden Go. That's going to be my way through Dock Spun. That's going to be my way through that Comfey. We'll be able to deal with those Fairy types easily. Now, as for the remainder of the team, as long as we get rid of Darkrai, I'll be happy. I'm cool to not go to bed. I'm going to stay up all night. All right, Dock Spun and Serena are going to be their lead. Not what I anticipated, but guess what? I can't fake them out, so they got me there. I wonder. Should I not just Icicle Spear the Serena like it's nobody's business? Because that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do this hard swap here. Well, actually, I guess I could just proc my... No, I'm going to try to keep my eject pack if I can. Hard swap it right into Gouging Fire. I want to start howling myself. I'm going to ignore this Dock Spun. I hope it's not going to be an issue for later. Dock Spun is super hard walled by... By Golden Go. All right, Booster Energy procced. Followed by their Terra. Okay, I'm assuming it's going to be Serena. If I had to guess. So why wouldn't you? Never mind. Fairy Terra. Yo, they're doubling down on this Fairy Terra. Why? Are you not just gonna body press me? What the dog spun? What the dog doing? What is the dog spun doing? All right, we're also gonna Fairy Terra, so I guess we can't judge. Also, I like the way that Kurum's just kind of floating around. That's neat. They're just play roughing me. Okay. Well, I'm glad I terrestrialized. And I'm definitely glad I terrestrialized after a high jump kick too. Eat this icicle spear. Best of luck, lady. Whew, all we needed was three. All right. If all they're doing is play roughing me, I'm not sure. I care that much. Especially if their defense isn't going up. Well-baked body, my left paw. All right, Pokemon fan. It's the dark. Okay, dark rise here. Yikes, scary, spooky, not fun. Um. 
Why do I have a feeling I'm faster? Am I just faster than Darkrai? Is Darkrai not as scary as I thought it was going to be? I'm going to howl and scale shot. Wish me luck. I think Kyurem is fast. Kyurem Black isn't as fast as White, but it's still fast. What is that? Whoa, no! Mirror Herb? That's bad! Okay, they double hit me with the Dark Void. Their first try. I'm starting to regret um, wanting to battle Darkrai. <laughs> All right, player else connecting. On to my Kyurem again. Is going to knock out my Kyurem. Okay. Sorry, Kyurem. I thought you were a little faster than Darkrai. Unless they're Scarf. I don't know. They might be. Gouging fire is tormented. Trust me. So is Kevin. Well, at this point, yeah, I'm going to go into... Uh, Miensha here and try to threaten their dark right at least a little bit. CC. Eh, why not? Let's heat crash this dog. All right, we're still asleep. Fair enough. I hope that Miensha can outspeed a dark right. They're not scarfed. They are very fast though. They just tried to dream eater my awake Miensha. Okay. The one that you put to sleep is already dead. <laughs> but now, so are you, pal! All right, and this is really nice, too. Because if they are going to go for a player off on my Mianxiao, guess what? Eject pack. I'm on my way out of here. Into the golden go we go. The dog spun's just play roughing. That's all they're doing. Yeah, golden go eats. Not as well as I thought it was, though. That half helped in my golden go. Hold on, maybe the Dark Spun Fairy Terror is legit. Dang it, they bring out this thing. Yeah, that bring out that thing now. I'm gonna protect first turn at least. Let me just break and swipe for now. Hopefully, I wake. That would be nice. Oh, they have Shadow Snake. Okay, so I gotta have to prepare accordingly, unfortunately. I'm probably gonna have to go. Oh, and Crunch. Dude, this Dox Bun is ready for every Golden Go. Alright, they wanna Shadow Snake me. It means I have to go back into Mian Show here. I really gotta get this wake as soon as I can. With this gouging fire. I need a couple of breaking swipes, please. I don't have a great way of dealing with this Sarah ledge. That hurt. We should be waking here. Three turns? Come on. Or was that only two? It felt like three. It felt like an eternity. Okay, they're just gonna shadow sneak me again, so I might as well fake out the dog. And then breaking swipe here. Yeah. That makes sense. I just need like two breaking swipes on this thing. And if I get like two breaking swipes, I think Golden Ghost should be able to outspeed and should be able to really hurt that pupper. Alright, we got the wake here. That's that's always nice. Oh great damage. Oh incredible damage. I could work with that. Golden go. I'm, I'm clicking protect again. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm clicking protect again. And I'm breaking swiping again. We'll worry about the dog later. Its defenses aren't heightened. So I think I should be able to just deal with it with a gouging fire even. Alright. Hopefully they fall for these protects too. But if they're smart, they just double into this gouging fire now. No, they fell for it. Beautiful. Thank goodness. Crunch me too, why not? Breaking swipe again. They're now negative two. I definitely live a negative two shadow sneak. Or we just straight crit him, baby! <laughs> that works too! Why do I feel this is gonna half health me? Because it did much more! What the heck was that, dude? 
Oh my goodness, get this dog out of here. Yo, real talk. Fido over here is having the time of its life as a fairy Terra. Play rough at me, but thankfully we got rid of it. <laughs> Why did that Dox one give me so much anxiety throughout this match? I was worried about Darkrai and then Sarah Ledge and Dox one was there the whole battle just spanking me without me noticing. GG's on to the next. All right. We played Galtice in game one. We're playing them again now in game three. This will be interesting. Let's see what happens. Um, a lot of things could go wrong, but honestly, that team is so good on their side of the field that it, they could just very well beat me here. Quite simply, quite easily. They got a really good read on me last time in game one. I'm going to try not to let them do that again. Right. I gotta try to use my brain a little bit here. Because they got a really good read on me in the first game. So far, undefeated in today's video. But that could change. That could change right here, right now. Gold Tice, whatever happens. Good luck, have fun. Not wearing the shirt, but good luck, have fun. I do really like that trainer card. I should actually put an effort and change my trading card every single time I use a new Pokemon. But that sure is a lot of effort. Okay. I have an idea. Oh, my brain just exploded in a good way. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this Electrophoria right here, right now. Because I already know Speed Tears. I'm going to Protect. I'm going to Fairy Terra. I'm going to Howl. And then I'm going to Howl again. And then I'm going to blow up this, um, this Raging Bolt before the Raging Bolt can get any speed drop on my Kirin White. I mean Kirin Black. Opposite color. All right, Fairy Terra already. Not wasting time here, folks. Right away, turn one Fairy Terra. They might do the same, who knows? They're not, okay. We just click and protect out here. They're also protecting. They thought I was gonna do the exact same thing, nah nah. Not at all, I'm setting up for the end game here. Yep, there's E-Web again. Fair enough, makes a lot of sense. Not mad. Do I need two ice school spears? It's it's worth I think. Uh do I need two howls is, is the question. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Two howls. I know I can live a precipice. I've done it already. They withdraw Groudon, perfect. Goodbye, Groudon. You're not the focus. Venusaur is the new addition here. Why do you want to have that against the Kiram? I don't know. I should outspeed. We outspeed! Get out of here, Raging Bolt! I don't think I needed it. I, I, I don't think I needed the second Howl, but I'm glad I did it. Because what else was I going to do? Knock out a Venusaur? <laughs> Who needs to do that? Nobody. All right, I should burn another Sun Turn, I think. I just go for the double protect. Also gives me an idea of what, who they're trying to focus on, who they're targeting. Okay, Mr. Draco Meteor. Yeah, I think I should just try to burn another Sun Turn. So let's just protect. Kind of want a Breaking Swipe. I'm plus two. I feel a little special. There's a Draco. Okay. How much will this hurt? Depends if I get sludge bombed right now. I am. Okay. Do I live? I don't live. Wow, Venus are strong. Okay, Vino. Oh, am I in danger? Not entirely. Is that an ogre pond now? I might lose ogre pond here this turn too. 
But if I can get the KO on the Walking Wake, that's all worth it to me. Because if they're going to click Draco Meteor, I could go for Scale Shot and try to get some speed. I'm going to do that. That's a little risky, but I'm going to do it. Let me just follow me here. Please don't protect Walking Wake. If they protect Walking Wake, they're goaded. They did a real good play there. Because my hope here is to stall the Sun turn. They have two more turns of stun. So if I can lock in the Groudon and the Venusaur as their final two, I can double protect my last turn and then worry about the game. Nice, they don't. Woo! And I live, beautiful. That means the other move is getting redirected into the Ogre Pond. They also can't sleep powder me here, which is amazing. That's fine. Take my Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond going down a soldier in today's video. Scale shot. Beautiful damage, dude. Give me that speed boost, too. Keep in mind, my Curum never got e webbed. Now, we know the Groudon is back. The Groudon is going to be forced onto the field before the sun can come back or before the sun can go away. It's not ideal for my um, my golden go, but hey, we thrive out here. We protect, we protect. No overthinking necessary here. Now, who do I go for first? I think I target Groudon first. Cause there's a much Venusaur can do to golden go and there's a lot that Groudon can do they're terrestrializing. Ooh. The Groudon, too. What flavor are you? Fire? What do I do? I have to rely on Scale Shot now, then. Fire Terra. Yeah, Fire Terra is not the greatest thing for me. I just have to double the Groudon. Yeah, Shadow Ball it and yeah, throw everything I have at it. Oh, they have Earth Power. So they do have a way to hit my golden go too. Well, they doubled my Kyurem though. So I could have, in theory, <laughs> nasty plot of a golden go. Oh well. Sun's at least gone. I'm gonna scale shot the Groudon. Shadow Ball Groudon. Okay. Okay. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. I'm so upset. <laughs> there is not a single world where I deserve that at all, dude. I don't deserve that. But it's how I'm getting treated now. Oh my goodness. I had to go for Scale Shot. I had to. I couldn't go for Ice School Spear. It's resisted. I can't go for Fusion Bolt. It would not be enough to KO. I had to go for Scale Shot. And then they had to crit me. I would have lived, man. I would have had another opportunity to at least knock it out with a Scale Shot if I didn't get crit. Man, what the heck, dude? Whatever. We're taking home two wins in today's video. That's pretty darn nice for us. Karen Black. It's not your fault. It's the move's fault for sucking so much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment on your way out of here. Thank you so much, Doom Nick, for going ahead and posting the team on the Poke Sports Discord. Galtis, thank you so much for the rematch. GG's. You deserve it there at the end. Um, I'm a little sad, but hey. Sometimes you're a sad boy. Sometimes you're a happy boy. Today, I happen to be a sad boy here at the end. Taking home one loss, two and one overall. Not too shabby. Anyway. If you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Leave something on your way out. I'm Kevin's Focus Sports. Peace out. Bye-bye.